Let me go to Dester, first time caller out of Texas. Dester, welcome to the show. You're on the air. How you doing, Jesse? All is well. How you doing, sir? Uh, well, I know you say no man is good, so I'm all right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but, uh, no, I wanted to ask you uh, my situation. Uh, right now I'm living with my grandma. How old are you? Uh, uh, 31. Amazing. Yeah, amazing. And why are you living with your grandma? Well, I was living with my wife and my two kids at this trailer that we were splitting bills with, with her sister and her boyfriend or whatever he is. But I ended up leaving over a disagreement over there and came over here. Um, uh, but I'm working two jobs. I pay her all her bills. I pay all the bills. She don't work. I pay all the bills. So I pay all the bills. I work two jobs and all that. And uh, I have a problem with alcohol. That's the reason why she won't allow me to move back over there. I want to, but she won't allow me to. So you're living in a trailer, you, your wife, and your kids, with her sister and her sister's boyfriend, right? Yeah. Why are you? Why do you have your family in that type of environment? I don't know. Just like I, I was raised just by a single mother, and she put her, you know, yeah, you know, just like you say, she put her uh, emotions into me, and I was raised as a woman, pretty much. Yeah. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how to become a man right now, and so you at 31. So you have two jobs, you say. Yeah, I work two jobs. I work uh, about 16 hours a day, going from one to the other each day. And so your wife told you you have to leave your family because you you drink alcohol? Well, she didn't tell me how to leave. I had left. I had moved out because they had a, another guy living there, and we got into something. I told him, like, look, I'm leaving. If you want to follow me, follow me. If you want to stay here, stay here. She didn't want to follow me. She stayed. I left. I moved back over here with my grandma. And now I'm asking to move back, and she won't allow me until I get my drinking situation under control. She won't allow you. Not. So. You say which is not what? Which, I mean, it's not. Well, I mean, drinking a problem is, a, you know, it's, it's bad either way, but it's not like a domestic problem or I'm beating you know being violent it's just the drinking that's it she so like smelling it on me you know it's not like I'm being violent being dumb being ignorant going to bars I, I, there's two places I'm at I'm at work or I'm at home how many children how many kids you have I got two a seven and a five year old uh boy and girl yeah boy and girl each you know. amazing so what's your question for me I mean, what do you think I should do? I mean, do you think I should just, uh, I don't know, I'm just trying to figure it out. I mean, I'm, like I said, you know, I've been raised by my mother my whole life. I never really had a father figure or a male figure to look up to. And I'm just trying to figure out, you know, I watch your videos every day trying to figure out, you know, what do I need to do to become a man and what is, you know, how to, you know, be a father and a man, but. I mean, I'm trying to figure it out for myself. Amazing. And how old are you again? I'm sorry. I'm 31. That's amazing, man. Um, yeah. So, if you, your mother's still living? Yeah, she still lives. And do she you, lives uh, right next door, actually, to my grandma. Amazing. Yeah. So, uh, I have my mother right next to me, and I live with my grandma. And, yeah, and it's, uh, you know, I've had a stepfather, and she divorced my stepfather, and now she's with another man. And it's just... Uh, and I haven't been able to, uh, I never really had a male figure to really, you know, take as a, how to be. Yeah. So, you know, God says, seek first the kingdom of God in his right way. What I would recommend is that you calm down and get to know yourself. Don't try to get back into that place. Don't, don't go back. I would get to know myself, pay attention to what's happened, go and forgive your mother for turning you into a woman by yeah. by by uh, causing you to resent her. Forgive her. She literally cannot help herself. That's why she's with different men. She's looking for love. 
She's looking for the love of her father. And so she really cannot help herself. So go, don't ask for forgiveness, but forgive her for what she's done to you. And God will forgive you. And then you say you're working two full-time jobs, right? You're working two jobs. Yeah, two full-time jobs. Yeah, two eight-hour-day jobs. I would recommend you go and get a place for you and your family, your wife and your kids, not some, no sister, no mama, no grandmama, but get a place for you, your wife and your kids and bring them to your place. But that's the thing. She, she doesn't want to leave where she's at. She doesn't want to leave her. I don't know why she does, but well, if she doesn't do that, but she refuses to do it. Well, if she doesn't leave her there. Leave her there. Okay. Don't get involved with any other woman. You still get your own place. Uh, get a place for your family. You know, two-bedroom apartment or something like that. Or a nice little trailer if you can't afford a two-bedroom apartment. And uh, you bring your kids there. You start visiting your kids, have them visit you, and let her stay where she want to stay if she want to be there. And it'll be on her and not you. But you, as long as you follow this woman, you will continue to suffer. You're not going to get better. She's not going to get better, and the kids are not going to get better. At some point, you got to put your feet on solid ground and start being right and doing it the right way. That's the only way things going to get better for you. Okay. You got to. Yeah, that makes okay. Yeah, if she doesn't want to come, let her stay, and you start bringing your kids over. But get a place of your own and don't let some unmarried people live in your family with your family. It's not good for your children to see you and your, your wife living that way if you were not married. And it's not good for them to see others living that way. It's not good for your children. Okay. And as long as you move with her, your wife, you're going to always have issues because women hate weak men and then they try to tear you down when you're strong, but at least you're able to overcome it when you're strong, when you are a man of God, when you return to your natural state. But you got the wrong need for women. Yeah. I mean, I'm tired of being weak. I've been weak for 31 years. I'm kind of, I'm tired of it. That's beautiful. So now calm down. And once you go and forgive your mother, God will cause you to become a man. He will renew your mind. He, meaning that he would take away the mindset of the woman, the emotions of the woman. He would take that away and he would give you back the logic of men, the unemotions of, uh, unemotion of a man. Man is logical, not emotional. Any man yeah. that's emotional is a woman. He has a yeah. woman's nature. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I get, yeah. So just take your time. Don't rush back to this. Don't go back to that trailer to live for sure. Save your money, find a place, and tell your wife you have a place and that you want her and the kids to come live there. You're not going to live in that environment anymore. And if she said, no, I'm not coming, because she's not accustomed to you being a man, right? And if she doesn't want yeah, to come. No, yeah, she's not. Yeah, if she doesn't want to come, leave her there, and you bring your kids. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I never really. Yeah. I never really. I was just putting so much effort, just trying to move back over there, not even thinking about just getting my own place. Why? Why didn't you think that way? Because you moved back into the environment, it's just going to get worse. You left yeah. there because of a negative situation. Why would you go back into a negative situation? Why didn't you think that way? I don't know. I guess I just started because I only I only get to see my kids on the weekends when I'm off. Yeah. She has them throughout the week while I work. Yeah, and then I get them on the weekends while I'm off, and I just started missing my kids, just being able to come home to them and see them, and I just want to just be able to come home to them. I understand. Fathers love their children, and and the wives, the mothers of the children, will destroy the children in order to destroy the man, because they hate men, and they will destroy your children, and and that's what it sounds like she's trying to do, but. Go and get your family, get your kids. Tell her to come too, but if she doesn't, fine. Leave her there. Bring your kids. Yeah. And don't get that's into an argument with her. Don't get into an argument. Call the cops and go there with the cops. Have a witness. You know what I'm saying? And if yeah. that doesn't work, you file custody. There are ways that men can fight back. Men got to be willing to fight back. 
without the anger because that will be used against you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes. Sense. I never really thought about it like that. I, yeah. The only thing I've ever really thought about is just trying to find ways to please her to where she'll allow me to move back in so I can see, come home to my kids every day. Amazing. And I don't think that was on my mind. Um, Dexter, never, ever, ever, never, 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 never. As long as you walk this earth, try to please a woman. All you're doing is giving her your life, and she'll destroy you. Cause she see that as a weakness. You cannot please a woman. You have to be a man, be right, and do right. Because that's the, that's the natural order of a man, and a man is not supposed to try to please a woman. You're not supposed to please anyone. You're supposed to just be right and do the right thing. Okay. You can't please right. people. They see that as a weakness. Yeah. And when you go back crawling in that way, she got to wear you down and got to take your yeah. children away from you even more so because she see you weak and she see that the kids are so important to you that you're willing to be weak. All right. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, that, Yeah. okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, that's a good. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, because the only thing, yeah, the only thing that was on my mind that I was thinking about was just getting back over there and getting home and coming home with my kids every day. That was the only thing on my mind. I understand I wasn't thinking that. about other op, you know, other options for where I can make that happen. That's why you got to overcome anger, because anger is darkness, and when you're angry, you can't see simple things that you could do. So when you overcome your mother, you will overcome anger. And God will, he will guide you, man. It's so interesting how you will see simple little ways to uh, provide for yourself, your family, and other things. You will see how to do the right thing. But you got to be right. You just can't, you cannot do right if you're not right. Because right comes from God. So you got to be right. You got to be of his nature. And then you can do right because you'll see the right thing to do. But don't argue with her. Don't get into anger because she'll use all that against you. Okay. All right. Yeah, because, I mean, I do have a lot of anger, but, I mean, I don't like, I, I bottle it up. And I kind of use it, I guess, against myself pretty much to make me make some decisions. Yeah, once you overcome the anger by forgiving your mother and don't hold anything against your father, forgive him then the alcohol would, I mean, the desire for alcohol would drop away, fall away, or you'd be able to do it in moderation. So don't worry about that part. The part is you got to let the anger go, overcome the, because anger is the nature of Satan. Yeah. So you got to overcome that. So start working on you. Do not go back into Gomorrah, Solomon Gomorrah. Bring your kids out of there. Okay. Does that help? Yeah, that helps. Yeah, that really does help. Yes. Yeah, that makes, yeah. Cause I, yeah. I never really thought about actually getting my own place. I was just trying to just figure out a way to get back to my old place. <laughs> but why, tell me, why wouldn't you think about, well, you know what? I don't want to live in a trailer with no sister and her boyfriend and my wife and my kids. I work two jobs. I can get my own place. Why didn't you think that way? I don't, I don't know. I just, I guess really the only thing that was on my mind was just finding the quickest way to get back to being able to be with my kids. And that was the only, you know, just yeah, being able to okay. be allowed to move back there. I mean, I didn't really want to, but I knew that was the only way I could be able to see my kids every day. I mean, I don't like, I don't think two men should live under the same roof. There shouldn't be two males like that, too. Him paying half the bills, me paying half the bills. It shouldn't be like that. I don't, I don't, I don't believe it. There should be one man in the house paying the bills. Yeah, especially and she, especially in that his, they're not married. You need to yeah, set a perfect married. example for your children so they don't grow up in darkness and end up in the same manner that this woman's sister and boyfriend is living. Those kids are going to pattern after that, especially with the mother trying to control everything. Yeah. yeah. So just calm down, relax. And um, are you doing my silent prayer dot video? I've seen it. I haven't really. I mean, I've tried it once, you know, but I'm, I haven't really made a routine of doing it. Make a routine but, uh, of I'll it, Dash. Look into it more. Yeah, you got to seek first the kingdom of God in His right way, 
And everything else will be added unto you. Be patient. Okay. All right, just All right. All right, let me know how it goes, buddy. All right. Was this helpful for you? No, this is really helpful, Jesse. Thank you. Like I said, I watch your videos every day. I love your videos. You know, you're hilarious to me. I love you know, everything you say. I agree. You know, I like how you how you air all your views. All right. Like and uh, well, thank you, yeah, Dexter. Let me know how it goes, buddy. All right. Amazing. Thank you. Amazing. <laughs>